Good evening, hockey fans from the friendly confines of True Vice Arena in Portland. Tonight, Cape Elizabeth takes on South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet in what is sure to be a hard-fought border battle. The Capers are looking to get back in the win column, coming off their first loss of the season at the hands of Scarborough last week, and with an overall record of 4-1. and one. The Red Riots bring a record of 5-1 and one into tonight's contest, including back-to-back seven goal outputs in their last two games. In net tonight for the Capers will be junior number one, Will Depke. Opposite him between the pipes for the Red Riots will be junior number 31, Avi Israel. The Cape Elizabeth captains are senior forward number 11, Quinn Gordon, and junior forward number 12, Connor Goss. Along with alternates, both junior defensemen number 17, Phil Coop, and number 14, Nick Laughlin. South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet are captained by Cullen Adams. Number 10, a senior forward for the Red Riots. Along with juniors, defenseman number three, Richard Gilboy, and forward number 15, Rowan Hopkins. Behind the bench for Cape is head coach Jake Rutt, assisted by Kirby Sari, Joe Hetrick, and JV coach Norm Rutt. The athletic director is Jeff Thorick. Lisa Mims is the athletic trainer. Cape Elizabeth principal is John Springer. And the superintendent is Chris Record. The Red Riots are under the direction of head coach Joe Robinson with assistants Ben Clark, Chris Pascal, and Christian Gignard. The athletic director at South Portland is Todd Livingston with assistant athletic director Sam Cloutier. Freeport's athletic director is Craig Sickles and Wayne Fleet's athletic director is Ross Burdick. The athletic trainers at the three schools are Dr. John Ryan, Chris Sandboard, and Nikki Baldick, respectively. So family, friends, alumni, sit back and settle in. Cape Elizabeth Hockey comes your way next. Before we get to the first period action, the Cape Elizabeth Hockey Boosters would like to thank our amazing sponsors for the 2021-2022 season. They include Aquamation Services of Maine, Bath Savings Bank and their South Portland branch, Beauregard Equipment, Brian Gilbert Associates and Gilbert Sportswear, Sea Salt Gourmet Market and Kettle Cove Creamery, the Cape Elizabeth Community Arena Project, Cape Dog Walking, Cape Integrative Health, Caldwell Banker, Copper Branch Restaurant in downtown Portland, D&G Machine, Dirigo Architectural Engineering, Doug Schaff Real Estate, Dryden Properties, Executive Office Centers in Portland, Florida Lee Forests, Fox and Doe, Haberdashery, High Tide Dental, Hobbs Funeral Home, 
Integrity Mortgage, Jordan Farms, Legacy Properties, LP Murray, Lucas Tree Experts, Luke's Lobster, Maine Orthodontics, Markham Accountants and Advisors, The Midcoast Music School, None Such Books, North 43 Bistro, Northeast Event Design, Orthopedic Associates and the Spectrum Medical Group, Pay Clearly, Play It Against Sports, Portside Realty, Rare Breed Veterinary Partners, Remax by the Bay and the David Banks team, Revision Energy, CFAX, Tostone's Restaurant in Cape Elizabeth, the Knickerbocker Group, Two Lights Dental, Veterinary and Rehabilitation Center of Cape Elizabeth, and Willow's Pizza. Thank you very much to these fine companies for your support of Cape Elizabeth Hockey. We appreciate you and we hope everybody will go and support them with your business. Did you get the update on Just under three minutes remaining in the warm-ups here, folks. That's okay. fans as they pick up the pucks and we wait for introductions. We're just about ready to get underway here.
Starting at defense for South Portland, number two, Ian Wright. Number 15, alternate captain, Rowan Hopkins. Number 10, forward, Colin Adams. Number 14, Casey McVean. Number 12, Dylan Hannon. And in net for the Red Riots tonight is number 31, Avi Israel. For the Capers, at defense, number 17, alternate captain, Phil Coop. Number 15, Simon Algara. Number 20, Sebastian Moon. Number 12, Captain Connor Goss. Number 11, Senior Captain Quinn Gordon. And in net for the Capers, number one, Will Depke. So both teams skate to the bench to get final instructions. Both teams skating a little undermanned tonight, dealing with COVID protocol issues as many schools are. In the face-off circle for the Capers will be Sebastian Moon opposite number 10, Colin Adams for the Red Riots. And we're underway. Capers control the draw. Coop brings it through center ice. Picked up at the blue line by Sebastian Moon. He takes a big hit from Colin Adams. Down into the near corner, around the far boards. Kept in by Cape at the blue line. Gordon looking for Goss, just missed him. Riots pick it up on the far boards and skate it out of their zone. Coop retreats into his zone, picks it up and skates it behind his own net. Capers trying to get it out and do. Now back in for the Riots. Picked up there by Algara. Up ahead to Gordon, pushed back in by the Riots. Coop now behind his net, looking to set things up. He flicks it up into the neutral zone. Back into the Riots end, Moon gives chase. Whipped around the far boards. Picked up there by Morrill. Morrill up ahead to Adams. Adams skates in from the left side, walks it in. Nice save by Depke. Rebound right out in front of the crease, but Red Riot's unable to capitalize. Kept in by the Riots. Shot from the blue line, doesn't get through traffic. Cape looking to get it out. Fan on the shot there is Lappin. Kept in the zone by Lappin though, before being picked up by Mello. Mello gets it out. Picked up by Gilboy at center ice. Petrick in his own zone now, over to Thayer. Thayer hit at the blue line, loses the puck. Moon comes over to get it, back over to Petrick. Dumped in by the Riots. Kept in along the blue line by Paulson. Petrick skating it up ice now, dumps it in. Moon flicks it on net. Oh, very dangerous. Almost an own goal situation there for the Riots. They control now on the far boards. Intercepted by Moon. Cape trying to pinch and keep it in. Squirts out of the zone. Moon. Back to Algara. Up ahead to Gordon. Gordon falls down, gets back up, battling on the far boards. Push down now. We're going to have a penalty coming up on the Riots. That's gonna be two minutes on Hopkins for a cross check. At 12.39 in the first period, Cape Elizabeth will go on the power play. Goss takes it for the Capers. South Portland controls. Able to clear it out. Cape having to retreat all the way back into their own end. Coop there. 
stops short. Moves it over to his brother Dimitri Coop. Now back to Phil. Up ahead to Goss. Goss walks it in across the blue line, down the left side. Nice move, through, deeks it through the legs of South Portland defender Susie. Kate battling in the far corner. Goss back out to Coop at the point. He puts it on net. It goes behind Israel. Hetrick gets it back out in front to Coop. He puts it on net, puck loose in front, and Israel covers. One ten remaining on the power play for the Capers. 11.48 remaining in the first period. Israel with some nice save in traffic and chaos in front of him there. Cape unable to control the draw. The Riots get it out. Whip it all the way down to the far end. Mello there to pick it up behind his net. Unable to get it controlled through the neutral zone. South Portland whips it back down. Depke picks it up there, leaves it for Coop. Dangerous in front of the net. Over to Moon. Moon at center ice. He gets it down into the offensive end and takes a hit. The Riots pick it up in the near corner and are able to skate it out. 30 seconds or so remaining on the penalty. Coop from his own end up to Moon, across his blue line. Cape not able to get much done on this power play here. Ten seconds remaining on the man advantage. Thayer picks it up as a blue line. Back to Coop. He skates across center ice and now into the offensive zone. Pushed down and loses the puck. And the penalty expires. Teams are back at even strength as South Portland walks it into their zone. Oh, and it's off the post. Back out in front. South Portland able to keep it in. Saved by Depke. Ten eighteen remaining in the first period. The faceoff will come to Depke's right in the Capers end. Moon for the Capers, Adams for the Riots. Controlled by Cape on the near boards. Mello picks it up behind his net. Tries to flick it ahead to Hanisco. Now back to Moon. He gets it out of the zone. Finally, Capers clear. Cross center ice and into the offensive zone. Dumps it in on net. Here comes South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet with a breakaway. Adams with a nifty move to his backhand, and he beats Depke blocker side high. Riot's captain, Cullen Adams, with a breakaway. Puts South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet up 1 0 at 944 remaining in the first period. Riots control the draw. Dump it into the caper zone. Lee flicks it out, and the Riots chase. Picked up on the near boards by Coop. He pushes it up ahead and into the offensive zone. From the left side, around the far boards. Lee there, unable to get control though. Capers unable to keep it in. Coop retreats to pick up the puck in his end. Over to Thayer. Intercepted at center ice by the Riots. They wait to get on side and then walk it in. comes there up the near boards but he loses it in the neutral zone again South Portland whips it in and we've got a whistle we 
They're going to call that an icing. Riots hadn't gained the red line yet. And so the faceoff will come back down in their end with 8.51 remaining in the first period. Moon taking the faceoff for the Capers. Shot got through to Israel. He's able to glove it, and the faceoff will come to his left in the riot's end. Goss controls on the far circle. Puck squirts out. Cape has to retreat, get back on sides. They do. South Portland controls, though. Up ahead through center ice. Shot from outside the zone. Up high on Depke, and he brushes it aside. South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet keeps it in. Now they have to reset. Mello now behind his net. Up ahead to Gordon. Gordon out of Goss. Goss racing through, takes a big hit, and he's separated from the puck. Panisco on the far boards, fighting for it there. Puck squirts to Moon. Moon tries to walk it in, but has it pocket picked. Now in the near corner, South Portland. They get it up and out. Coop gathers at center ice and across to Algera. Algera flicks it in. South Portland able to clear it out. Now they'll reset from their own end. Up ahead to Adams. He walks it in across the blue line. Met there by Coop in the near corner. Lee battling for it on the far boards. Cape able to get it out. Now Dimitri Coop over there with Patrick Lee. Not able to control it though. Riots get it back in. Now it squirts back out and they have to clear to avoid the offsides. Once again, Coop sets up behind his net. Whips it up ahead and it'll go all the way down the length of the ice for an icing on the capers. Seven minutes remaining in the first period here. South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet with a one nothing lead over Cape Elizabeth. Face off coming in the capers end to Depke's left. Cape able to control the draw. Hedrick whips it around the boards. Goss picks it up at the blue line. Tries to get it up ahead to Gordon, unable to. Back to Hedrick in his zone. He moves it on up to Gordon now. Gordon walks it across the blue line and dumps it to give chase. Hedrick from the far point. Shot deflected. Over to Mello from the near point. That's kicked aside by Israel. Hedrick able to keep it in at the blue line. Again, turned aside by Israel. Goss flung it on neck. Moon tried to deflect it, unable to control though. Puck comes all the way down the other end. And we're gonna get a penalty coming up here. I think they're gonna get each team for roughing here. It looks like Moon for the Capers and Susie for the Riots. So matching minors for roughing at 617 of the first period, 617 remaining of the first period. They're going to bring the faceoff back down into the capers end now. Moon and Susie got tangled up down there on the end boards and uh, played it past the whistle, we'll say. So both of them get uh, sent to the box. Looks like capers might be picking up an extra penalty on that. We haven't heard an announcement yet, so possibly a major on Moon. We'll see what we can get for details. So it's actually South Portland skating with a man advantage here for two minutes. 
puck squirts out of the zone and the Riots will have to come back and retreat to gather. Adams sets up behind his net. Moves it up ice. Lappin on the near boards across the blue line. Cross ice over to Hannon. Hannon in the far corner, taking his time, surveying. Was looking for Lappin, crashing the net. Lappin unable to get a good stick on it. South Portland report Wayne Fleet still controls though. On the far circle, walking it around now into the slot. Shot on net, leg pad aside by Depke. From the far... From the far point, Adams put a shot on net. The rebound came over to the near circle, and the Riots able to put it home. That looked like Lappin there getting credit for the goal. And with five minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the first period, the Riots now leading two to nothing over the Capers. Capers control the draw. Dimitri Coop flicks it into the offensive zone and the Capers give chase. Thayer and Lee battling in the near corner. South Woolen unable to get it out. Hetrick gives it a rip from the blue line, but it's turned aside by Israel. Lee still battling on the near boards there with Thayer. Unable to control it, it comes way out of the zone. And the Capers come all the way back down to their end to pick it up there. Mello. Up to Thayer. Thayer along the near boards. Back to South Portland. Coop at center ice, flicks it into the offensive zone and the Capers will get a line change. To meet, uh, Phil Coop now picking it up at his own blue line, across to Hetrick. Back to Coop. He skates it up through center ice and dumps it in. Puck goes along the far boards into the far corner where Gordon's there. Connolly now. Coop able to keep it in along his blue line. Shot on net, turned aside by Israel. Rebound also denied. Puck squirts out of the zone. Algara gathers it at his blue line. Over to Coop. Coop. Up ahead to his brother, Dimitri. Dimitri loses it, though. Back over to Lappin. Lappin walks it in across the blue line. Dimitri Coop gets it back, though. Gilboy able to get it up ahead and into the zone. Shot on net, gloved by Depke and held. 3.37 remaining in the first period. And the faceoff will come to Depke's right in the Capers zone. Dimitri, Dimitri Koop in the faceoff circle for the Capers. <laughs> Cape Elizabeth head coach Jake Rutt was having a word with one of the referees and now the two referees come together to discuss. Quite sure what this discussion is all about. I think it's relating to the previous penalty for which Cape still has number 20, Sebastian Moon, in the in the box for. Oh, we're back underway. Cape able to get it up and out. Lee along the near boards, cross center ice, into the offensive zone. There with Coop. Battling for it on the near boards and in their corner. Shot on net, and the Capers score! (laughs) 
Alex Thayer looked like he cleaned up the rebound there. Cape able to get their first tally up on the board and cut the lead in half. With 3.19 remaining in the first period, Cape Elizabeth now trailing 2-1 to one to the Riots. Mello at his blue line. Riots get it back into the zone. Mello picks it up behind his net. Tries to flick it up and out, unable to do so. Riots keep it in at the blue line. Shot from the far point, unable to get through traffic. Goss there at the far circle, and he's able to get it up and out. Back over to the Riots at center ice. Depke sticks to the side, into the far corner. Riots still control in the zone though, walking along the blue line. Cross over to right. Right from the near circle, shot went up and into the glass. Riots still control. Puck finally squirts out of the zone. Cape unable to control those. The Riots get it back in deep. Mello from behind his net. Able to get it up and out, but picked up at their blue line by the Riots. Battle for it, center ice. Now up and in, Adams from the near circle. Shot goes across the crease, kept in at the blue line by Susie. Susie has a sledgehammer of a shot for the Riots. Puck bounces around through the neutral zone and back to Coop in his end. Now to Hedrick. Up ahead to Dimitri Coop. He flicks it into the South Portland end. Around the far boards, into the far corner. Lee picks it up there. Tries to get it out in front to Coop. Unable to control and get a shot though. Caper still battling for it. Puck comes out of the zone. South Portland with some speed. But picked up there by Philip Coop. Up ahead to Connolly. Connolly over to Dimitri Coop. Penalty going to be upcoming here. Uh, no, actually, that was a delayed offside signal, it looked like. Capers will regroup in their end. Coop fakes from behind his net. South Portland chips it back in. Just under a minute remaining in the period, folks. And the puck goes up and out of play. 47 seconds remaining in the first period. South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet leading two goals to one over Cape Elizabeth. Capers control. Hetrick dumps it into the zone. Bill Coop keeps it in. Shot on net, gloved aside by Israel. Comes back over to Hetrick at the far point. He tried to flick it in, but it was deflected by South Portland. Capers control, put it on net again. Israel gloves it for a minute and then lets it go. Fifteen seconds remaining in the period. Puck squirts out of the zone and all the way down for an icing. We'll bring it back down into the riot's end with just about eight seconds remaining. South Portland from behind their net. Just willing to let the clock run out. And the horn sounds, bringing an end to the first period. So as the team skates to the dressing rooms for the first intermission, score is South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet, two. Cape Elizabeth, one. We will step aside for a few minutes here, cut the mic and come back to you when we're getting ready for second period action. Thanks everybody for tuning in to this Cape Elizabeth Boys Hockey TV live stream.
We'll be back in a few minutes.
uh, four minutes remaining in the first intermission here. Cape Elizabeth Boys Hockey Boosters would again like to extend our thanks to our season-long sponsors. We're so grateful for their support. And those companies include Willow's Pizza, Veterinarian Rehabilitation Center of Cape Elizabeth, Two Lights Dental, the Knickerbocker Group, Toastones Restaurant in Cape Elizabeth, CFAX, Revision Energy, Remax by the Bay and the David Banks team, Rare Breed Veterinary Partners, Portside Realty, Play It Again Sports, Pay Clearly, Orthopedic Associates and the Spectrum Medical Group, Northeast Event Design, North 43 Bistro, None Such Books, Mid Coast Music School, Markham Accountants and Advisors, Maine Orthodontics, Luke's Lobster, Lucas Tree Experts, LP Murray, Legacy Properties, Jordan Farms, Integrity Mortgage, Hobbs Funeral Home, High Tide Dental, Haberdashery, Fox and Doe, Florida Lee Florist, Executive Office Centers in Portland, Drynan Properties, Doug Schaff Real Estate, Dirigo Architectural Engineering, D&G Machine, Copper Branch Restaurant in downtown Portland, Caldwell Banker, Cape Integrative Health, Cape Dog Walking, the Cape Community Arena Group, Sea Salt Gourmet Market and Kettle Cove Creamery, Brian Gilbert Associates and Gilbert Sportswear, Beauregard Equipment, Bath Savings Bank and their South Portland branch, and Aquamation Services of Maine. Thank you again to these wonderful companies. We so appreciate your support. Our season would not be possible without you. And we hope that you fans will frequent these fabulous businesses. <laughs> Referees coming back out onto the ice. Teams getting ready to come out of their dressing rooms for the second period. We've got our most viewers of any broadcast tonight on Cape Elizabeth Boys Hockey TV. So thank you all for tuning in. If you're uh, watching on the live stream, drop a line in the chat. Let us know where you're viewing from, near and far. We know we got at least one viewer out there who, with an eagle eye, caught a typo in the scoreboard. Thanks very much. Try to run a professional operation here, but Every once in a while, we do slip up. And the teams are back out on the ice. So as we get ready to drop the puck on the second period of action, the Red Riots with a 2-1 lead over the Capers. Sebastian Moon will enter the faceoff circle for the Capers. Obviously Cullen Adams for the Riots. And we're underway. Battle for the puck at center ice, Cape controls. Back to Coop. 
He walks it across the red line and flicks it into the riot zone. Red Riot's able to get it out. Gathered along the near boards by Algera. Across to Coop. He loses the handle. Riot's able to control the blue line. Shot in on net. Controlled by Depke. So with just 26 seconds gone in the second period, the faceoff will come to Depke's left in the Capers end. Dimitri Coop now in the faceoff circle for the Capers. Algara behind his net. Back over to South Portland. They're able to pinch in from the far blue line. Coop over to Lee on the near boards. Back over to Coop. Cape unable to get it out though. Riot's keeping it in. Cullen from the near circle walks it in. He was looking for Sykes, unable to hit him though. Phil Coop from the far boards, still not able to get it out. Shot on net, off Kepke's blocker. Cullen walks it in from the near circle. Finally, Capers able to get it up and out. And that'll result in an icing though. So the ref will skate it back down into the caper's end and the face-off will come to Depke's right. Moon taking the draw for the capers. They control, Mello behind his net. Tries to whip it around the far boards, unable to get it out though. Riots pinch and keep it in. From in the slot was Brady Frank. Not able to get much on it though. Hetrick. Battling for it on the near boards. Puck squirts across and out. Picked up there by Goss. Goss with some speed from the left side. Loses the handle. Battling for it in the near corner. Tries to get it back out in front of Moon. Unable to hit him and the goal comes off the pins down in the South Portland end. So with 13-10 remaining in the second period, they'll reset the goal, and the faceoff will come to Israel's right. Actually, the faceoff will come outside the zone. Kate able to dump it in, but it's out of play. And we'll bring it all the way to center ice for the draw. Coop and Adams facing off. Puck squirts to the far boards. Dimitri picks it up there. Flicks it into the South Portland zone, but they get it up and out. Up ahead to Adams from the far circle. Battling there with Coop. Coop falls down. Adams still controls. In comes Conley. Now back to Coop. Coop skating it up and out. Up ahead to his brother Dimitri. Dimitri at center ice. Walks it across the blue line. Into the offensive zone. Hanisco chases it down on the far boards. Puck squirts back to Conley. Still battling in the far corner. Whips it around to the near corner now. Coop picks it up there. Algara steps up and pinches to keep it in. Tries to get a shot in on net, but it's deflected by the South Portland defender. Back to Algara. He's able to keep it in. Picked up by Lee. Puck squirts out in front. Nobody there for the capers, though. Riot's clear. Coop gathers at center ice. Walks it across the blue line. Lee flicks it in there. And as the puck comes all the way down into the Capers end, we'll have an icing on the riots. Eleven fifty-four remaining in the second period of play. Red Riots with a two-one lead over the Capers. Sebastian Moon in the face-off circle for Cape.
Cape able to keep it in. Hetrick pinches at the blue line. Taps it down with the stick. Cape still keeps it in, but now the puck squirts out. Mello in the neutral zone. Flicks it back in. Icing was waved off there. Must have been deflected. Wyatt's pick it up and skate it out of their zone. Cross center ice and into the attacking zone now. Clutie are there in the far corner for the Riots. Gets it out in front to Udomze. Now to the near point, kept in by the Riots. Cape finally able to get it up and out. Lee picks it up in the neutral zone. Penalty upcoming. And they're gonna say that was a hooking penalty on the Riots. Number 21, Jake Udomze goes to the penalty box with 11.08 remaining in the second period. Capers will skate with a man advantage for two minutes. They win the draw. Hetrick across to Koop at the blue line. He keeps it in, gets it deep. Down behind the Riots net. Picked up there, sent all the way down ice. Where Depke will leave it for Koop. Coop. Up ahead to his brother Dimitri. Over to Hetrick at the blue line. And the Capers were offside. So the faceoff will come outside of the riot zone. Connor Goss to take it for the Capers. Riot's able to control, push it back the other way. Coop over to Henisco. Henisco looks to get it up ahead. Unable to get it through traffic though. Picked up at his blue line by Phil Coop. He's got the stretch pass that's missed by Henisco, but Henisco gives chase into the near corner. Cape okay, able to keep it in at the blue line, but then Goss loses it. Breakaway opportunity for the Riots. Here comes Lappin. Nice save by Depke. Lappin tried to take it far side, unable to control it. Depke was able to flick it aside. Now back the other way with Goss. Looking for help, he's skating one on three there. Capers in a change. Just avoid the too many men on the ice penalty there. Riots whip it in towards Depke. He gloves it and leaves it for Moon. Up ahead to Coop. Nice behind the back pass from Coop back over to Moon. Capers. Need to hold as they're offsides. Capers had a couple of guys already in the zone. Tried to hold it there as they cleared, but unable to do so. So the faceoff will come outside of the riot zone. 940 remaining in the second period. 32 seconds remaining on the Cape Elizabeth power play. Alex Thayer takes the draw for the Capers. Puck squirts all the way back down to the Capers end where Mello gathers it. He leaves it for Coop. Up ahead to Moon. Moon, cross ice to Mello. Mello up the far left side. Skates it into the zone, stops. Looks to leave it for Lee. Lee gets it back down into the far corner. Moon behind, his, behind the South Portland net. There with Lee, now back to Moon. Back over to Lee. Lee looking to get it back out in front. Moon from the... Far corner, back to the far point. Mello tries to get it on net. Shots deflected aside and the teams are back even. Domsey was just coming out of the box there. Just missed an opportunity for a breakaway that was disrupted. Puck comes all the way down to the end boards and capes end. Battle in the near corner. Moon. Now there with Lee. Slap shot from the near point by Hopkins. Goes wide of the net. Puck loose out in front. Adams able to pick it up in the slot. And he buries it from there.
Adams from point blank range in the slot, rifled it, top right corner. And with 8.18 remaining in the second period, it's back to a two goal advantage for the Riots, three to one. Cape controls the draw, Algara over to Hetrick. Hetrick up ahead at center ice to Goss. Goss crosses the blue line from the left circle. Shot on net, deflected aside by Israel. Hetrick still controls at the blue line, able to chip it back in. Oh, now the referee indicates that puck had come out of the zone and that will be an offsides on Cape. Puck squirts back down in the caper's end. Algara in the far corner, around the end boards. Patrick up ahead to Gordon. And it'll be an icing on the capers. Just about halfway through period number two. Red Riots with a 3-1 lead over the capers. Face off coming back down into the Capers end to Depke's right. Moon taking the draw for Cape. South Portland controls at their blue line, flicks it in, gloved by Depke. Cape able to get it out of the zone. Moon at center ice, flicks it up ahead. Now gives chase in the attacking zone. South Portland able to get it out. Delayed off sides, Cape will have to clear. Connolly dumps it back in. Picked up by the Riots in the near corner. Patrick pinches and keeps it into the blue line. Riots ice the puck and it'll come back down into their end for the faceoff. Seven oh two remaining in the second period. Faceoff coming in the Riots end to Israel's right. Puck drops. Riots control. Now held along the far boards by Coop. He walks it into the far circle. Back to Dimitri Coop. Gets it back down low. There's Lee behind the net. Now into the near corner. Trying to get it back out in front. Puck whips around to the far point. There's Coop. Back across to his brother Dimitri. Nice nifty move at the blue line. Dimitri trying to walk it in. His shot's deflected aside. Puck squirts out of the zone. Phil Coop will gather in his own end. He skates it down behind his own net. A minute and 24 remaining on the Cape Elizabeth power play. The puck is flicked up and out of play. And we'll get a face off at center ice. Riots control the draw. Flick it into the offensive end. Moon picks it up at his blue line, skates with some speed through center ice. He shoved off the puck though. And that's gonna be an offsides on the capers. So with just about a minute four remaining on the power play, faceoff comes from outside the uh, riot zone. 
Goss slips as he tried to flick it in on net. And the puck squirts out of the offensive zone. Coop gathers at his blue line, being chased there by Frank. Pushed off the puck by Frank there. Gordon now picks it up behind his own net. Up ahead to Goss. Goss kicks it into the zone, gives chase in the near corner. Tried to wrap it around was Dimitri Coop. He misses. And Phil Coop picks it up at the red line. Cross over to Moon, into the offensive attacking zone. Shot on net is gloved and held by Israel. 15 seconds remaining on the Cape Elizabeth power play. And actually that advantage will be neutralized as Dimitri Coop is sent to the box. Captain Quinn Gordon skates over to discuss with the referee, sort out what the call is here. It's gonna be a minor penalty on number 24, Dimitri Coop for the Capers. Did not see what the call was. Now another Cape player going to the box. I'm not sure if that was, if they're calling a major there or a bench, my, a bench penalty. Either way, back underway. Riots in the offensive zone. Shot from the far circle, turned aside by Debke. Now five on four for the Riots. Cape able to flick it out of the zone. Cape now on the PK. Riot setting up from the near boards. Now to the near point, Adams. Back to the near circle. It's Hannon. Back to Hannon at the near point now. Back over to Adams at the far point. He puts a shot in on net, and that is deflected and blocked by Philip Coop. Caper skated up out of the zone. Sebastian Moon giving chase in the Capers offensive zone, but the Riot's able to skate it away. Hannon across the blue line. Now into the near corner. Takes his time. He was looking to set up right out in front, but missed his stick. We've got a delayed penalty coming up on the Capers. They're gonna get Sebastian Moon for a slashing. Israel goes to the bench for the extra skater for the Riot's. Now they've got six on four until Cape can touch it up. Hannon. Actually, that was Morrill in the near corner. Finally, Cape able to touch it up. And the ref's whistle blows. So with 3.34 remaining in the second period, the Riots will have a two-man advantage and skate five on three. Moon to the box, two minutes for slashing. Cape head coach Jake Rutt really not happy with the refereeing in this game, and Cape is going to pick up another bench penalty as a result of that. It is crowded over there in the Cape Elizabeth penalty box now with four players currently sitting there. South Portland over to the far point. Shot. Score!
Number 11, sophomore forward Toby Lappin with the power play goal for the Riots. And they now lead it four to one. This one's starting to get away from the capers. Still five on three. Lee able to get it back into the offensive zone. Turned aside there by Israel. Hopkins picks it up behind his net. Up ahead and out of the zone. Up to Udamzi. He skates down the left side. Shot on net. Nice save by Depke. Some frustration really starting to pour over for the Capers right now. Gordon in the faceoff circle. Riots control the draw. Kept in at the blue line by Adams. Down low. Now back up to Hannon. Cross ice. From the far circle, Gilboy was looking to set up Hannon there. Gilboy, now to Hannon, at the far circle. Back down to Gilboy. He walks it in from there. Easy tic-tac-toe goal there for the Riots. That's gonna be number two. Junior defenseman Ian Wright credited with the goal. Gilboy's gonna get the assist on that. Hard for Depke to do anything in that situation with the Riots with the two-man advantage. So with 2.38 remaining in the second period, score is now 5-1. to one. Come, puck comes out through the neutral zone. Riots cross the blue line. Wright stretches for the pass but just misses it. Still controls along the near boards though. Pushed off the puck by Thayer. Controlled by Gilboy. Puck squirts all the way back down to the Riot's end. Sticked aside by Israel. Up ahead and cross ice to Hannon. He left it for Hopkins and the puck goes out of play. Riots control along the near boards. Josh fighting for it in the near corner. Gets it out to Moon. Moon back to the blue line to Algara. He tried to put it in on net. Puck's deflected. Here comes Brady Frank the other way. Riots still control. Algara tried to get it out, not able to. Frank along the blue line. Elgara in the near corner, whips it around to Coop. Coop picks it up along the far boards, up ahead to Gordon. Gordon has Moon if he can hit him. Just deflected and intercepted on that pass from Gordon to Moon. Now back the other way. Morrill. Falls down in the far corner. Coop gets it. Looks like we're going to get matching roughing penalties. Nope, just a roughing penalty on South Portland. It's number six, Brady Frank going to the box.
Uh, we'll be matching penalties. Gordon to the box as well. So five on five, one minute remaining in the second period. Adams controls at the blue line, walks it in. Shot is turned aside by Depke. Cape back up the other way. They're going to get number 12, Dylan Hannon, for a slashing penalty. So 46 seconds remaining in the second period. Refs really giving their whistles a workout here. Cape controls, Coop. Far point over to Lee. Lee down low to Goss. Goss centers it. Tries to get Thayer. Thayer unable to turn it and shoot. Cape still controls though. Lee from the slot. His shot's deflected and puck comes all the way back down to the Capers end. Picked up by Coop. 20 seconds remaining in the period. Battle in the near corner. Five seconds. And the horn sounds for the end of the second period. South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet skates to the dressing room for intermission number two with a commanding five to one lead over the Capers. So as the Zamboni comes out to make ice for the second intermission, we will once again step aside and cut the mic. Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. We'll pick up the action when the third period is just about ready to get underway.
Zamboni making his last couple passes on the ice. For one last time, we want to thank our sponsors of Cape Elizabeth Boys Hockey. The boosters are very grateful for the support of these companies, including Aquamation Services of Maine, Bath Savings Bank and their South Portland branch, Beauregard Equipment, Brian Gilbert Associates and Gilbert Sportswear, Sea Salt Gourmet Market and Kettle Cove Creamery, the Cape Community Arena Project, Cape Dog Walking, Cape Integrative Health, Caldwell Banker, Copper Branch Restaurant in downtown Portland, D&G Machine, Dirigo Architectural Engineering, Doug Shaw Real Estate, Drynan Properties, Executive Office Centers in Portland, Fleur de Lis Flores, Fox and Doe, Haberdashery, High Tide Dental, Hobbs Funeral Home, Integrity Mortgage, Jordan Farms, Legacy Properties, LP Murray, Lucas Tree Experts, Luke's Lobster, Maine Orthodontics, Markham Accountants and Advisors, The Midcoast Music School, None Such Books, North 43 Bistro, Northeast Event Design, Orthopedic Associates and the Spectrum Medical Group, Pay Clearly, Play It Again Sports, Portside Realty, Rare Breed Veterinary Partners, Remax by the Bay and the David Banks team, Revision Energy, CFAX, Toastones Restaurant in Cape Elizabeth, the Knickerbocker Group, Two Lights Dental, Veterinary and Rehabilitation Center of Cape Elizabeth, and Willow's Pizza. Once again, we are so grateful for the support of these fine companies. Thank you for all that you do for Cape Elizabeth Boys Hockey. Just about two minutes remaining in the second intermission, waiting for both teams to come back out of their dressing rooms. It's been just about all Red Riots in this one. They'll skate into the third with a five to one lead over the Capers. Come the referees who clearly needed a breather after all the whistles that they blew in the second period. Red Riots goalie Avi Israel getting ready to lead his squad back out onto the ice. And here come the riots. Door opens for the Capers. Will Depke leads Cape Elizabeth back out onto the ice. So 15 minutes of hockey left to play here from the True Vice Arena in Portland. The unofficial shots on goal that we see up on the scoreboard right now, 15 for the Red Riots, 14 for the Capers.
Capers line of Moon, Goss, and Thayer takes the face off, and we're underway. Adams across the blue line, into the zone. Bodied off the puck there by Coop. Moon in the far corner, back over to Coop. He skates it up and out of the zone. Alex Thayer gives chase in the far corner. Moon along the far boards, now into the far corner. Puck around the Riot's net. Flicked up and out of the zone. Coop gathers at his blue line. Tried to reverse it to Goss. Off the boards, Coop picks it up again. Kate still with just under 30 seconds remaining. On the penalty, actually both, uh, on, on the power play I should say. Goss in the far corner. Walks it up to the blue line, now into the slot. Coop, reverses back to Goss. Penalty expires and the teams are back even. Capers able to pinch and keep it in. Lee whips it into the far corner. Tracked down there by Wright. Kept in by Hetrick. Out of the zone and up ahead to Adams. He's unable to control, but leaves it back for Frank. Frank walks it in from the near circle. Behind the net, tries to get it back out to Adams. He's skating off for a change, though. Along the blue line. It's Hannon. He leaves it for Anderson. Down low to Hannon. Hannon battling with Mello in the near corner. Connolly comes in to help. Capers try to clear, but kept in by the Riots. Hetrick along the far boards in the far corner. Puck squirts out to the point. Shot in on net. Blocked by Depke. Flicked up over his shoulder but behind the net. Multiple rebounds out in front, and South Portland able to put it home. The vocal South Portland Freeport Wayne Fleet student section counting up to the six goals for the Riots. They lead it six to one with just under 12 and a half minutes remaining in the third period. All the way down ice, but no icing. Picked up by Coop. In the near corner, up ahead to Thayer. Thayer skates it out of the zone, across center ice, and into the attacking zone. Leaves it off for Gordon. Gordon flicks it towards the net. Cape trying to jam it home. Covered up by Israel. Capers trying to chip away there in the crease, but Israel able to cover up. Faceoff will come to his right. Riot's control, bring it out of the zone. Hannon. Tries to flick it up ahead, but deflected by Coop. At center ice, it's Sykes. Back to Hopkins. Coop gathers in his end, across to Algara. He leaves it for Moon. Moon skates it out of the zone and cross center ice. Puck intercepted. Adams across the blue line, from the left side. Adams looking for the hat trick there, but his shot goes up into the netting and out of play. Face off will come to Depke's right. Actually, he'll come out of the zone. Hetrick controls. 
Gets it out, but intercepted at center ice by the Riots. Up ahead to Lappin. Mello takes it behind his net. Along the far boards, just misses Lee. Lee, back to Lee though, and he's able to get it out. Gilboy fell down in his own end. Lee there to pounce on it. From the right circle, looking for help. Unable to get any. Petrick keeps it in at the blue line. Flicks it towards the goal, but it's intercepted there by a South Portland defender. All the way down the other end, and we're going to have an icing call on the Riots. 10.43 remaining in the third period. Faceoff comes back into the Riots end to Israel's left. Moon there for the Capers in the circle. Connolly battling for it in the near corner with Hanisco. Hanisco walks it in from the left circle. Shot on goal, turned aside by Israel. Connolly chases after it. He gives it up though. Riots able to get it up and out. Algera. Over to Coop on the near boards. Up ahead to Connolly. Panisco able to keep it in, but he loses control of the puck. Panisco pushed off the puck, and it's turned back over to the Riots. Delayed penalty on the Riots there. And it'll be Roan Hopkins heading to the box. Capers will go on the power play with 9.43 remaining in the third period. Thayer in the faceoff circle. Face off one by the Riots. They skated out. Hannon across the blue line. One on two. Into the near corner. Cape trying to get control in the far corner. Goss finally able to skate it out across center ice into the attacking zone from the right side. Tries to stop, get it back out to Gordon. Shot on goal is turned aside by Israel. And we're going to get another penalty on South Portland. That's going to go against number 12, Dylan Hannon. Right after Gordon got the shot off. Hannon blew him up in the slot. Quinn looks okay for the Capers. So it'll be a two-man advantage for at least no less than a minute 17 for the Capers. And it looks like we've got a timeout called by Cape head coach Jake Rutt. Nine minutes remaining in the third period. Two red riots in the box. Number 15, alternate captain Rowan Hopkins. And number 12, junior forward Dylan Hannon. Riots goalie number 31, Avi Israel, has been stout when tested. He will be called upon to do so here 
as Cape has the two-man advantage. Moon in the face-off circle for the Capers. Controlled by Cape. Coop in the near point. Cross to his brother, Philip. Down to the right circle to Goss. Back over to Coop at the left circle. Now Phil Coop in the slot. Back down to Goss, his shot goes wide. Cape able to control. Dimitri Coop at the near point. Cross to his brother, Philip. Now down low to Moon. Moon back up to Dimitri Coop. He walks it into the left circle. Over to Philip Coop in the slot. His shot's deflected aside. Goss skates it around to Moon. One timer. Score for the Capers. Beautiful assist and one timer. So Cape able to get at least one back there. Nice feed from Goss over to Moon, and he was able to bury it home. 8.27 remaining. Red Riots now with a 6 2 lead. Cape controls. Coop up ahead to Goss. Puck comes all the way back down into the Cape Present. It's five on four for the Capers right now for the next minute and four. Cape trying to get it back into the attacking zone. Coop at center ice. He walks it in across the blue line, over to Gordon. Gordon lines up the slapper from the left circle. is going to go to the penalty box for the Capers. So we'll be four on four for 52 seconds. Cape controls, unable to get it out just yet. Kept in by Adams in the near circle. Down into the near corner. Puck taken away there by Hetrick. He loses it in the far corner though to Lappin. Back out in front, pad saved by Depke. Comes out of the near corner. Cape still unable to clear though. South Portland picks it up in the far corner. Adams there. He walks it in on net. Fires a shot that's deflected by Depke. Cape finally able to get it out. But that'll be an icing. Four seconds remaining on the South Portland penalty to Hannon. A minute 13 remaining on the Capers penalty to Coop. Dimitri Coop wins the faceoff for the Capers. Moon behind his net. Pauses there, now gives it up to Hanisco. Hanisco up ahead, looking for Coop. Intercepted by Wright for South Portland. Dimitri, though, picks it up behind the net, tries to wrap it around. Hanisco was there right in front, but unable to get a stick on it. Intercepted at center ice by Coop. Riots back to full strength. They'll skate with the man advantage for the next 40 seconds. Hannon out of his own zone. Oh, I'm sorry, that, yep, that's Hannon. Crossed into the attacking zone. Walks it in. Denied by Depke. So 
6.22 remaining in the third period. Capers looking to kill off 30 more seconds on the penalty. Squirts out of the zone. Picked up by Hedrick. He flicks it out. Handed down by Adams. Fired in and the Riots chase again. Around the end boards to the far corner. Now to the far point. Hopkins at the blue line. Up and into the net and we'll get a whistle. South Portland controls the draw. Unable to get a clean shot off though. Cape Elizabeth able to get it out of the zone. Flicked back in by the Riots. Coop fires it back out. Corralled in his end by Wright. He fires it up ice all the way to the other end for an icing against the Riots. Five twenty-seven remaining in the third period. Red Riots leading six to two over the Capers. Cape able to control the draw. Mello from the near point gets it back down low. Gordon there turns it back over to the Riots. Udamzi from the far corner, up ahead and out. Cape gets it back in. South Portland controls though. Wright skates it up ice. Flicked in by Brady Frank, number six. Puck trickled in on net. Depke holds it in his glove. Cape able to control the draw. Whipped it around the boards all the way down the other end. No icing, says the referee. Thayer battling for it along the near corner with Goss. Goss now skates it around to the far side. Tries to get it cross ice, but it trickles out of the zone. Coop reverses it back to Goss and he fires it back in. Puck whips around the end boards into the far corner. Thayer there. They are battling for it in the far corner. Now to Coop. He tried to put it on net, but lost the handle. Puck is flicked out of the zone by the Riots. Philip Coop gathers at his blue line, up ahead to his brother Dimitri. Back to Algara at center ice. Now over to Moon on the far boards. He walks it across the blue line. Into the far corner. Kept in by Algara. He whips a shot that goes wide. Coop able to pinch and keep it in. Puck into the far corner. Goss there, along with Dimitri Coop. Neither able to hold on to it. Goss able to get the puck back after a big hit. Cross ice pass over to Moon. Moon dumps it into the near corner. Battling there along the end boards. Picked up by Goss. Riots. Able to get control and clear it out of the zone. Sykes dumps it in and the Riots give chase.
Adams keeps it in at the blue line. Puck comes around the far boards, picked up by Lee. He skates it across center ice and into the attacking zone. He's got Connolly on his left. Leaves it for him. Connolly neutralized there in the, far, in the near corner. Going to get a penalty coming up for a cross check on Hannon as he returns to the box. 2.52 remaining in the third period. Capers go on the power play. Moon at the near blue line. Gets it deep. Goss with a shot on net. Rebound there. Israel able to cover. A lot of bad blood between these two teams. Frustrations really pouring over for the Capers. The referees gather at the scorer's box to sort it all out. Gordon and Gilboy both to the box for Cape and South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet, respectively. We said at the top of the live stream that Red Riots had scored seven in each of their last two victories. They're one away from that here tonight with 239 remaining in the third period. The speakers facing the stands here at Troub tonight, not on, so we're not picking up any of the audio announcements about the penalties, unfortunately. They've got a five minute penalty put up on the board for Gilboy for the riots. And a minor to Gordon. A lot of discussion for just two and a half minutes left in the game here. <laughs> Five, uh, four on three will be how we skate for the next minute 47 remaining on the Hannon penalty. Cape controls. Coop at his blue line, walks it into the right circle. Now reverses along the blue line. Back to Goss. Goss from the near point. Shot on net, turned aside by Israel. Back to Goss, across to Coop. Coop sets up and switches places with Goss. Now at the near circle, Coop walks it in. Shot, stick saved by Israel. Coop controls again in the near circle. Now down low to Moon, back to Coop. Back to Moon. Back to Coop into the slot. Another shot turned aside by Israel. 
puck comes all the way back down into the caper's end, where it's corralled by Depke. He'll leave it for Coop. Coop up ahead to Goss. Goss cross into the attacking zone. Moon controls back over to Coop. Shot deflected up into the netting. So we'll reset here. A minute 42 remaining in the third period. 51 seconds remaining on the initial penalty to Hannon. A minute four remaining on the penalty to Gordon for the Capers. Cape wins the draw. Moon over to Lee. Lee walks it along the blue line. Back to Moon. Moon from the slot. Walks it in. Shot right off of Israel's chest. Penalty coming up. Depfield skate to the bench. Capers try and get the extra skater. Moon walks it in across the blue line. Into the near corner. South Portland touches up and the whistle blows. Minute 17 remaining in the third. Just chaos here with the penalties coming left and right from these referees. Kate battling for it behind the net. Squirts out to right. He skates it up and out of the zone but it's flicked up and out of play. Faceoff will come back down into the riot's end. A minute and four remaining in the third. Five on three for the Capers. Coop, the near circle, back over to Lee. Down low to Goss, his shot goes wide. Coop controls the near boards, reverses it back down to Moon. Into Lee at the slot, he loses the handle. Back over to Goss in the far corner. Goss controls. Now, Coop in the near boards, into the near circle. Turns it over. Riots get it up and out. 30 seconds remaining in the game. Capers with the empty net. Lee. And the whistle blows again. Both Moon and Wright with 21 seconds remaining in the third period have been sent to the dressing rooms. This one has really gotten away from these referees. I don't know if there's any more room in the Red Riot's penalty box right now. And I don't think it really matters. Cape controls, Hetrick at the far circle. 
stick aside. Ooh. That trick goes hard head first into the boards. Referees go over to indicate for the scorers to run the clock down, and that's going to be the game. Trainer's out to attend a head trick along the far boards. He went hard, head first in the boards. We hope he's okay. Referees clearing the ice. And that one ended ugly, folks. Well, we thank you for tuning into the live stream, everybody. Hope you'll tune in for our next game. In the meantime, one last time from Troub, South Portland, Freeport, Wayne Fleet, Red Riot, 6, Cape Elizabeth, Capers, 2. Good night, everybody.